what about kind of dealing with kind of complex and you know board complex are you approaching that differently now uh i would choose my investors entirely differently so yeah my my my, my remit for investors is very very clear um i would insist i would never dilute myself beyond the point of control i would always want a golden vote in my contract which means i can outvote everybody because you know it's my blood sweat and tears that created this um i would have a very strong board around me and a strong board by the way doesn't have to mean that everybody's in agreement with you what it means is that they won't let anyone be bullied the the they they back the founder unless the founder is actually doing something that's detrimental to the company I would also make sure that my board was diverse so that my board wasn't like eight white men, that we had women on the board. We had, you know, people who are non-white on the board, male or female or male and female, because actually it doesn't really matter what sector you're in. We are all in businesses that serve everyone to one degree or another. And so by having a board that is only represented one part of the population, I don't think business i don't think it's good for anybody's business because you're seeing you you're 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 getting advice through one set of experiences which is very different to other people's set of experiences absolutely and obviously in your case it might have yielded a different result if you had i suppose at that point in time more diversity is there any other lessons that you've taken from it uh yep don't take money on unless you absolutely need it like you know do everything you can without it first. Um, uh, all money is not created equal. So uh, somebody can offer you a million dollars here and a million dollars there. They're not the same. But, you know, what's the nature and the type of personality of the person? Are they insisting on a board seat? Like, don't just give board seats away because that just ties you up in headaches. You don't need to do that. It's unnecessary. Um, ask for more money than you need. That's another one that's really important for women. Because women tend to undervalue the amount that they need. And so they tend to be underfunded because they don't ask for enough money. Men tend to ask for more money than they need. So they get at least what they need or more. And then they have a longer runway. And the longer runway you have to build success in your business, the more likely you are to be successful.